There's no other Airbnb on earth quite like this place. Hello, Wonder Hussy here. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a crown on top of my head. And there's a good reason. It's because my sister and I were invited to spend the night at the Hard Luck Mine Castle. Okay, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember a few years ago, I went out <laughs> to this castle that this guy built in the middle of nowhere, kind of just outside Death Valley, not too far from Scotty's castle. I call it the castle district. Anyway, I went and stayed at that guy's house and oh my god, it was amazing. He built it all by himself. It's totally off grid. He kind of built it as his dream home, but in the intervening years, well, he he had to sell it and the new owners turned it into an Airbnb. And they invited my sister and me to come out and spend the night and see the newly refurbished Hard luck mine castle, Airbnb. So I had to put on my finest royal wear because, well, one simply doesn't wear a trucker hat when going to a castle. Uh, just kidding. This thing's probably gonna blow off anyways because it's windy today. Okay, I have to pick up the keys for the hard luck castle Airbnb at a place called the Shady Lady. It's an old brothel that was turned into a bed and breakfast and uh, now apparently the same guy who manages the Shady Lady also manages the Hard Luck Castle. So that's where we have to go to pick up the keys. Uh, we just went in and checked in with our Airbnb host. He's actually gonna lead us up to the property. So we're gonna follow his truck <laughs> to the castle and he's just gonna kind of show us the ropes, you know, how to turn stuff on and off, and well, I guess give us a few do's and don'ts. Okay, we're following the uh, Airbnb host to the castle. I clarified this with the host, any vehicle can be driven up here. The road is well graded, so even if you have a BMW or a Lamborghini, well, maybe not a Lamborghini, but most any car can make the road all the way up to the Hard Luck Castle. Oh, look at this fancy new gate. This is new. Yeah. Well, they haven't been painted. The uh... Painted? You're gonna paint these gates? Wait, who are you? Huh? Who are you? Nigel White, the manager. You're the manager of this Airbnb. This is who I had to go to the shady lady to get the keys from. And he's gonna take us up there and show us what we need to know to spend a night in this castle. Okay, we've arrived. And it's noticeably colder up here. I had to put on my puffer jacket. We're at 6,000 feet and it's probably like what, 15, 20 degrees cooler than it yep. was down below? End of, end, of, uh, end of summer, beautiful Sunday. Well, it's the end of winter, but end of winter. other than that, I agree yes. with you. <laughs> Just He's from it. South Africa, it's different down there. Nigel's gonna show us uh, our accommodations for the evening. And if you watched my first video, you'll remember this beautiful grand entrance, this amazing tile, look at this tile work, wow. Look at what an entrance. There's the entrance and we leave the chairs over here because of the wind and then if you want to use the chair you're welcome to go put it out. Oh wow you, you could just want. sit anywhere you want. Look at this is your front yard. And this is the front yard and you got a little mountain over there. Beautiful look at this view. And you've got area 51 out over there. Oh good for some night sky watching. Look at these magnificent door knockers. Oh look at that it's Christmas every day here at the Hard Luck. Yeah, every day is a Christmas day at the It feels like at Christmas. Come on inside into the foyer. Wipe your feet off before going into the castle. Wow yes I remember this beautiful look at this oh my gosh what an exceptional room. Look at that look at that tile work. Oh the grand dining room look at that. Oh. This will be perfect for the meal we have planned tomorrow. Look at this sideboard. Oh my. Custom made. Custom made. Sideboard made in Italy. Uh, we scoured every 
new furniture store in every consignment store in the Las Vegas area. Ah, consignment store. Elegant stuff as well as some Yes, I love these antiques. This is an original piece. I mean, you could host an amazing, I guess like a corporate retreat here. Yeah, corporate retreats, small private weddings. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner, yeah. Family reunion. Family reunions. Uh, bachelor, bachelorette parties. Oh, a bachelor party. Oh my God, that would be amazing. And of course, just for the family and friends that want to come up and just get off the grid, switch off, get mm -hmm. the experience, chill out. This is the ideal place to come. No neighbors, no light pollution. And this is a mural of the uh, outside right here. Look original. at that. Yeah, that's the landscape right outside. I remember that from last time. We're now going to take you to the organ room or the parlor. The organ room, before. aka the parlor. Oh, and this is why he built this castle to accommodate this $5 million pipe organ, right? Oh my goodness. So this is it. Uh, originally, pretty <laughs> much just concrete flooring in here. Right. So we took everything out. Wow, you did. Refurbished it. Oh my god. Decent God. sized furniture. Yes, and you need big. The size of the room. It takes big furniture uh, to fill a room like this. No carpeting or, or flooring in here because it'll mess up the sound of the. Oh, organ. it would mess up the. Now, are guests allowed to play the organ? Uh, no. The organ is for display only. But the sound of it is absolutely fabulous. Have you heard it before? Yes, I heard it when I stayed here before, and I was yeah, really hoping yeah. I could play it. Yeah, see, here's a sign that says, if you want to play organ or hear organ played, please ask. Because really, it's a hundred-year-old organ. You don't want to just go banging around on it. You could mess something up. Yeah, you don't want just every Tom, Dick, and Harry bashing on the keys. No! I don't want every Tom, Dick, and Harry bashing on my organ, so I completely understand. And befitting for a castle on the top of a 6,000-foot mountain in the state of Nevada, oh. here's the coat of arms for the place. Oh, this is the coat of arms for this castle? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at these windows. Yes. So you've got a two-story window there. Wow, you sure do. So pretty interesting. Uh, and that was the understatement of the century. This is definitely unlike any Airbnb I've ever have been to. This is yes. amazing. And so just so people watching know, uh, there's a two-night minimum to stay here, right? Yes. Two-night minimum, and it's $1,200 a night, and it can accommodate up to eight guests. Okay, now we're gonna go check out the kitchen. Uh, it's got a beautiful gourmet kitchen and there's a patio with a gas grill because there's no restaurants around here, okay? Uh, the closest place to eat is probably an hour's drive. So when you stay here, you need to bring all your own food. But the upside is then you have this amazing kitchen to prepare your meal in. Look at this. Wow, yeah, he did all this tile work himself. I remember this beautiful kitchen. And we can supply a, a cook or a chef. Oh, that's good to know. At an additional cost, you know, should somebody desire that out here. Wow, that's 100 years old. It's close to 100 years old. Look at that. Oh, and then there's a Wi-Fi. So you can have Wi-Fi if you're staying yeah, up here. So, you know, you've got all the nice Oh, new, everything. New, yeah, nice they nice thought of everything. Stuff. Everything but the food. Bring your own food. B-Y-O-F. Okay, back outside. It's windy. Be careful. Yeah, look how thick this door is. Oh my gosh. It's like a bank vault. Well, you could grill some nice steaks on that. I mean, if you had a chef, if you hired a chef to come out here, that'd be amazing. This is a work in progress. This is a, a, a uh -oh. eight man uh, hot tub. So you'd be able to sit with a cigar oh, and wow, champagne that view. and look out at that oh, view. Oh, but it's not night. ready yet is what you're saying? Coming soon, oh, so I'll have to come back. Where that uh, pole is up over there, we're gonna do a helicopter pad. So oh. if you want to come in from Las Vegas, come in with, San by Diego, chopper, yes. come in by chopper, and we'll pick you up and pick you up at the pad and bring you down. And bring, and bring oh, you wouldn't down, that yeah. be nice to fly right in? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going downstairs, and this is where the sleeping accommodations are. Yeah. Oh, it's dark and spooky. Yeah. This is two of the four bedrooms. Oh, two of the four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. That's right. Sleeps eight. This is the. First floor kitchen that we don't really use very much because yeah, yeah. everybody seems to yeah, why would you congregate stay down upstairs. Here? But it's ready to go if needed, and of course it's been refurbished with very nice. chairs and yes. stuff. 
So here is suite number three. Okay, suite number three. And this is the blue room. The blue, oh, here's the blue room. With oh, a big fold out couch. Yes. So if you happen to come here with your cozy bed, two oh, teenagers and the, and or the something, couch folds that out. folds out and you can actually put them in here. And you see each room has its robes with its thing. Robes? Oh, I didn't oh, even realize. Oh, How nice. Oh, oh. oh, good, because I forgot to bring my robe. And here's the, here's the uh, red room. Okay. Again, oh, new, look at how cozy it is in here. All new furnishings, you know, queen oh size gosh, beds yes, down here. Very nice. Custom window treatments. Yeah, look at that. Wait till you go upstairs. Uh, oh, okay. Sounds like a challenge. Here's one of the centerpieces of the. Uh, oh, what's in here? Yeah, this is the. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at this. It's a movie theater. theater. <gasps> we got to watch a movie. Oh, look at pinball machine. Does this work? New big screen TV. Mm. Theater seating. Look at that theater seating. VCR. Oh, how fun! And it, do you have a? Is there a library of mm, videos? A library back there. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, oh yeah, and I see there's a few out here. Oh my gosh, we gotta watch a movie. And these slot machines? Can so we course, can we gamble? Your teenagers <laughs> out here. They have all the accompaniments down there. Yeah, the kids will stay busy. Okay, my sister wanted to see the solar batteries, and this is this is the operations nerve center of the whole castle. We are completely off grid. This entire castle is run on solar power. This is it over here. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So oh my word. Panels up there, up, up on the so top. Can panels are up there. Come down the side wall into here. Store this. Oh my word! Yeah, look at that. And we keep this door locked to keep kids in. Yeah, you don't and want some adults out of here. So these are all the batteries, huh? Yeah, this is the battery system. Oh, wow, system. look at all those batteries. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go up to the third floor and see the master suites. There's two master suites, and Nigel said we're really going to like them. I think you will like <laughs> He said he thinks right, we'll like them. Let's floor. find out why he thinks that. Follow me, ladies. Okay, back up here to the... And lots of light switches. There's lights there. There's lights. Oh, there's lights all over, huh? Place. Switches here, switches there. That means it's off. You want to make sure to keep all the lights turned off when you're not using them so you don't drain the solar batteries. And of course, for those who like to do games and stuff... Oh, look at games. There's uh, some fun. entertainment over here. Lots of games. Something for everybody. Yeah. Nice. Now we're going up the center of the castle of this... Wonderful spiral staircase. I mean, look at this thing. Holy cow, all the way up, 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 up. Okay, following you. These are the master suites? These are the uh, <laughs> number one and number two master suites. Okay, number suites. one. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is like fit for a king. Oh. Lay in bed looking at this amazing view. Look at that. And look, a little private balcony too. If it's not windy, you could go out there, have your morning coffee. Let's, let's taste the wind. Okay, hang on to your hat. My hat did blow off earlier. I got to be careful. Probably 80 to 90 year old uh, original uh, mining um, cabin, if oh, you want to call it that, where the gold miners cabin. used to live in there. Oh, no kidding. I was so humble compared to this. Yeah, and <laughs> the gold mine entrance is down there and that it, shed over That's there. the gold mine entrance? Gold mine entrance is there. We'll go and see that in a little while. Ooh. And here's the plush carpet. Bathroom. Oh, here's the master bath. And Holy of course, cow. Place to hang your towels and your Oh, wow, well, yes, these towels are so plush. Look at this tub. What a place to take a bath. Oh my goodness. Or for that matter, what a place to take a shower. Look at this shower. The way the light is on that mountain out there right now is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how fancy. Yeah, a bidet. Look at that. And a urinal. Oh my god, there's a lot going on in this water closet. So are these adjoining rooms? Is that open into the next Wait suite? Wait you go into suite number two. Oh, yeah. okay, gosh. I don't know. Suite number one was so amazing. Uh-oh, look at suite number two. Oh, wow. Custom curtains. These are like four and a half thousand dollars a pop. Holy moly. I think this is my favorite. It's pretty room. nice, yeah. But I don't know. Well, that other room there is it's, pretty nice, too. Nice, you know, it's really the view in this room is so good. I think I like this room. I like, I love laying in this bed, looking, I mean, if it was a nice day and you had these doors open and you were just laying in bed drinking champagne, okay, call me degenerate, but that sounds like a good time to me. I really feel like I'm in a medieval castle. I mean, just for reference, I'm standing in the middle of this, <laughs> I mean, castle, tower. You know, you've got to give credit to the owner, Richard Socher, 
who had the vision one to buy the place. Okay, yeah, I'm sure people are curious because I'm curious. I know this place was for sale for a long time and it yeah. would it would have taken a very unique buyer. And so you're saying that this uh, person that bought it? Richard is definitely classified as a unique buyer. Richard, okay. And um, he had a vision as what he wanted to have have done to it to make it where it is today. And we were fortunate enough to be hired by him and given pretty much a open palette to go and do what we thought he would like. Obviously, but he bought it with, with Airbnb in mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so then your job was to go decorate out, it and make it decorate it and make it fit for a king and queen. Yeah. What a fun job. Okay. Now it's time to go up to the fourth floor, which if you watched uh, last time I was here, you might remember is something pretty. And this Exceptional. Is where it kind of all comes together. Oh my it's word. It's the through. stargazing deck. Oh wow, you've done a nice job up here. Look at this, we got seating. And for you, a brand new flag. Oh, a brand yesterday. new flag for me. Yay, look at that, it's blowing. Wow, okay, hold on, I gotta give everybody a sense of what's going on okay this is the indoor viewing deck at the very top of the castle you might have noticed as we drove up it has a little kind of glass cupola on the top and that's because it's a big glassed in like a conservatory an observation room for stargazing because we're in the middle of nowhere there's no light pollution out here zero we're right outside death valley so the stars are going to be amazing tonight and you're at 6,000 feet. Oh, and we're at 6,000 feet, so that it's makes it even better. And we're right across from Area, area 51. 51. I know where I'm going to be tonight, right here in a chair with some hot cocoa, looking at the stars. Blazing gaze. Wonder, would you like to go see the gold mine entrance and put your... Uh, would we like to go see the gold mine entrance? Uh, yes, magic, we would. Uh, you can put your magic camera on. Can see inside We'd love to go mine. peek down at a real gold mine, which happens to be right over there. Wow, I didn't realize there's an actual gold mine on this property. <laughs> Randy didn't tell me that last time I stayed here. Oh my God, look, look at that. Uh, it's a little narrow gauge rail. Shut the front door and what? Uh, I'd love to see in here. This is this is the, the mine shaft? Yeah. Uh oh guys. Okay. Hard luck. Right, hard Fine. luck, yeah. This was the first thing that operated on this property back in the <gasps> in the forties and back. Oh I gotta turn my flash on. Hold on. Okay. Oh my oh there's a light in here. Oh it's civilized. There's light in here. Yeah. Silly me. And this was Look a, at this. a workshop. A workshop? Yeah, but you can see the light the, the Yeah, there's still the rail line, line the, going uh, all the way. This is so neat. Watch yeah, your watch your head. Be careful, don't bonk your head. So this was part of the workshop. Oh wow, it is it's a day. workshop underground, just a rough hewn out of the rock ceiling. Look but at the that. The mine shaft goes that away. Oh, and then the shaft continues. And that on. away. Oh, it's cold down here. Yeah, and the air vents somewhere up over there. Oh, and this is how fresh air gets down in here. Okay. And then what is this the cart that goes on there? Oh my god. Yeah, it is the cart. Ah, very cool. So this is the first mine you've been in this year. Oh, it's the first mine I've been in this week. If you stay here and you want to see inside this mine, he will, he'll take you on a tour in here. Now it's not left open for guests to just go in here willy nilly, obviously, but when you book a stay here, Nigel will give yes. you a tour and he'll take you into the mine. He'll show you around the castle. He'll give you the history. He'll do the whole nine yards. Okay, you were saying that there's somebody else we need to give credit to as regards this place? Yes, apart, apart from uh, Randy Johnson for having the vision to build this place, and of course the vision and the foresight from Richard S., um, you know, who bought the place and wanted to take it certainly to the next level. Uh, my wife, Jennifer Haller, was a huge part of the furniture selection oh i bet she was you know and was she like nine was she like 95 percent? you were five percent well i i like to think it's more 51 me and 49 her oh wait a minute i don't know how jennifer <laughs> would feel about that well you, now you have it well now she you've did seen it. she did a beautiful job the she furnishings did, are did. tasteful sumptuous and befitting a castle yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Okay, Nigel was super kind to give us a tour of the premises. Oh my god, can you hear how windy it is outside? It's like Wuthering Heights. I'm going to spend the night in this castle with the wind blasting outside just like well just like I was in a castle on the English moors only I'm in the central Nevada desert <laughs> how about that <laughs> anyway it's very kind of Nigel to give us a tour uh, he showed us to our rooms I decided to stay in this master suite my sister is in the adjoining master suite she's already retired for the evening well now it's time for me to get changed into one of these sumptuous robes take a shower and climb into this amazingly cozy looking bed <laughs> And the best thing about the view, you can enjoy it pretty much just as good from bed. Man, I would love nothing more than to spend all morning in this super comfortable bed, which by the way was amazing to sleep in, drinking coffee all day long, just looking at the beautiful desert. But Unfortunately, well, we didn't hire a cook to come up here and do stuff for us. So there is no coffee unless I go down and make it for myself. my coffee up to the rooftop solarium. <laughs> Figured this would be a cool place to sit and enjoy my morning brew. Now this is the life. Okay, can't hang around in this castle all day, as cozy as it is in this blustery, stormy weather. I'd love nothing more than to just make a big cup of hot cocoa with Kahlua in it. And take a nap but we're in the middle of an amazing area where you can take all kinds of off-road trails and go to ghost towns and abandoned mines and cabins so we're gonna go for a little excursion for a few hours before coming back to the castle fun just driving around exploring some of the amazing old ghost towns and ruins all over the hills around this castle but it's a chilly day and we have that really nice solarium up top and we don't want to miss the sunset so my uh, sister brought a bottle of Prosecco we're gonna go up there and have a uh, well sunset cocktails and a little snack <laughs> Got some little snacks, got some Prosecco. Life is good. Oh. Great sunset, great Prosecco. Now it's time to start thinking about using this beautiful formal dining room for dinner. The only problem is we didn't hire a chef and neither my sister or I are very much into cooking. Dang it, I 
really wanted to do some stargazing up here on the observation deck, but it's too overcast. I can only imagine how amazing the stars would be out here, but that's okay. I'll just use this as an opportunity to go to bed early and then get up and watch the sunrise up here. That will be amazing. I could lay here all day just reading and snoozing, but unfortunately, today's the day we have to pack up and leave the castle. Two days just isn't long enough. I mean, we didn't have time to do half the things we wanted to. We didn't have time to watch a movie in the movie theater. We didn't have time to play the pinball machine or the slot machines. We didn't have time to play any board games. And we never did get to hear that organ being played. Oh well, guess I'll just have to come back. <laughs> this place is a splurge, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> There's no other Airbnb on earth <laughs> quite like the hard luck. <laughs> <laughs>